In this video, we're going to go over the basic specifications associated with each block within Promax. To get this conversation started, let's talk about the difference in operating conditions versus equipment conditions. Okay, so operating conditions is things like our temperatures, pressures, flow rates at different points. This type of information is generally inserted into the streams within Promax. Whereas equipment conditions, and so efficiencies, pressure drop associated with the equipment itself, that type of information is going to be entered directly into the blocks, okay? And so with that in mind, in general, we want to be asking ourselves, what's the purpose of this block? Okay, what operating conditions is this, this block, this equipment trying to achieve? And what are the inherent specifications of the equipment itself, okay? As an example, we can talk about setting an outlet pressure versus setting a pressure drop. And so if a piece of equipment is designed to control the pressure, such as with pumps, compressors, expanders, in those cases we're going to want to just specify the outlet pressure itself. Okay? And so for example, if you have a compressor that's aiming for 700 PSIG and the discharge, we would just go into that outlet stream and type in that 700 pounds pressure uh, directly in that stream. On the other hand, for other equipment where we're not controlling the pressure, but the equipment itself is going to have some inherent pressure drop about it, in those cases, like heat exchangers and separators, we're going to need to put a pressure drop directly inside of the block. Okay? And so now I'm going to jump into each of the different blocks and, and items in Promax and talk about what their basic specifications would be. First off, just our inlet streams. So anytime you have an inlet stream in Promax, it's up to you or us as the user to specify that stream completely, meaning we need to provide a temperature, a pressure, a flow rate, and a composition. Okay? And then for process recycle blocks, we're going to estimate what the stream leaving that recycle block looks like. And so in the recycle block outlet stream, we're also going to need to specify t a temperature, pressure, flow rate, and composition, which for this case, all four of those are just estimates, but they do need to be specified by the user. For the energy recycle block, we are estimating the duty, and so that duty estimate is going to go inside of the block itself. Moving on to some other common blocks we have here, so things like pumps and compressors, as mentioned. We're going to set an outlet pressure, and then there's going to be an efficiency of the block that we will need to set inside the block itself. For heat exchangers, there will be a pressure drop specified inside the block, and in most cases we'll be setting an outlet temperature. Separators also have a pressure drop inside of them. If we want to control the temperature coming out of our separator, uh, you can think of maybe an example like a condenser where you have both heat exchange and this phase separation. You could attach a Q-stream directly into that separator, and then at that point you could actually set the outlet temperature of your separator as well. For valves, we generally set an outlet pressure. Mixers and splitters also need a pressure drop, and those are set as zero by default. In the splitters case, we also need to set a split fraction so we can tell Promax what percentage of the flow is going in which direction. Next up, we have our columns in Promax. Columns can come in all kinds of arrangements with different add-ons attached. So it's first important to note that every column requires a pressure profile. And so we can specify this profile by either specifying what the top stage pressure and bottom stage pressures are, or we can simply set a pressure change, and Promax will calculate that change from the top of the bottom of our tower. From there, we're going to have additional specifications depending on what energy inputs and outputs we have into our system. And so for every reboiler, condenser, side draw, etc., we're going to be given a degree of freedom to set some other type of specification. These specifications can be as simple as reflux ratios, boil-up ratios, or temperatures around our reboiler and condenser, maybe a product purity spec, and there's many more options available as well. But going back to that idea that you get one specification for every energy input or output into your column. 
Lastly, there are some more blocks available within Promax, and many of these blocks uh, have their own web tutorials associated with them. And so if you're interested in learning more about the saturator, the makeup block, our reactor blocks, or the pipelines, I would definitely encourage you to watch those web tutorials to get a more in-depth feel of, of what types of specifications those require. Okay, but that's our, our overview today on these basic specifications for our Promax blocks. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.